Hello everyone. My name is Rohit Kumar Nagaich, working as a simulation engineer with TechSavvy Engineers. Today I would like to show you how we can do an FEA analysis on an expansion bellow by using SolidWorks simulation. Expansion bellows are used to absorb movement and vibration in the transfer of any high temperature commodity like steam or flue gases. So this is a geometry CAD model of an expansion bellow. Since this is an axisymmetric geometry and all the boundary conditions which are applied to this geometry are axisymmetric, we can take the quadrant model of this geometry so that we can reduce the computational time as well as our computational resources. So I will switch on to the quarter bellow configuration. Now this type of analysis is subjected to geometric nonlinearity as well as boundary nonlinearity. So we will create a study, nonlinear study. Here we would like to simulate the actual factor practical conditions in which this expansion bellows are tested. First of all, we would like to apply a material over this bellow. So we will right click on the part and click on apply material. We are going to apply a stainless steel material to this we will go into the model type and select nonlinear elastic material in order to apply the nonlinear elastic material we have to define the stress strain curve of the material so i have applied these values for the stress strain curve which i, I have taken from internet the more accurate these values are, the more accurate our result is. The first value in this table represent the yield point of the material and further points are assigned to define the strength strain curve. We will apply the material and close it. Now in order to simulate the actual practical conditions, we will apply a fixture. But before applying the fixtures, since this part is very thin and to make 3D mesh on this part, to make 3D elements, it is very difficult. So in order to reduce the computational time, we will use the shell elements. That is, we will mesh this bellow by using 2D elements. So we will right click on the bellows form part and define shell by selected faces. I will select the top face of this bellow. Select tangency. I will define it as a thin shell with default thickness of 0.7 nm. And will give him it the offset from the bottom surface and I apply OK. Now I would like to apply some fixtures on this geometry. So I will go for the fixed geometry. I will select this face and press the OK button. Now in actual practical condition the bellow is fixed from one side and it is pulled from another side. So in order to give that movement to this another side, we will apply an advanced fixture known as using reference geometry. We will select this edge in the reference plane column we will select this face and 
give it a displacement of 10 mm in positive y direction so these arrow now represent the direction of the 10 mm movement of this edge now we'll press the ok button now since we have uh, taken the quarter geometry of this bellow we have to give the jump symmetry conditions on both of these edges so we we'll go and advance fixtures we'll select the symmetry tab and we'll select these edges by using select tangency and apply the ok button Similarly, we will apply symmetry boundary conditions on the opposite edges also. Now we would like to apply a pressure of say 16 kgf per centimeter square to this face. But I would like to reverse the direction that is the pressure is from inverse towards outwards so I will reverse the direction so now we can see those arrows these are pointing outward directions and apply ok button so now I have applied my fixtures I have applied my external load now it's time to match the geometry so I'll just RMB to the mesh tab and left click on create mesh for simplicity I'll just use the curvature based mesh and take the graph quality mesh in order to get accurate results we should refine the mesh quality as we can see here that it is not that good quality of mesh but for the sake of demonstration and to get quick results I am using draft quality mesh but we can always play around with different qualities of mesh so now I will go for running this study so I will just RMB to the study nonlinear and run it since it is a nonlinear study it will take some time to run
this is a new feature in SolidWorks Simulation 2015 that now you can see the real time view as the your study is running you can see how your stresses your displacements are varying in your model so okay now our study is completed now we can see that we are getting a quite decent plot here so these are the stress plot one misses stress now you want to see the value of stress at any particular location we will just go right mode rmb to the stress plot and go for pro now at any location if we click on the window we can get the value at that location these are not that accurate result because i have not refined the mesh as we can see this is a fixed this is a uh, fixture part so we are getting some stresses here and this part is we are pulling 10 mm so we are not getting any stresses over this part if we go for the displacement we can see the displacement over here just animate it see we can see how our value is expanding and contracting i hope you like you all like this video thank you for seeing watching this video